Okay, welcome to another edition of Lion News. We're going to do a little bit of male activism here. All right, now you can see that I've got the website for the Todd County, uh, uh, the Todd County website up right now. And here you can see that this is the, uh, the Board of Commissioners. Okay, and here's the commissioner information for District 1 to get their name and address and got their phone numbers, got their email address, and we got uh, District 2, District 3, District 4, and District 5. Okay, most of your counties have websites, most of your counties have all this information on there. It's got the name, address, not usually the phone number, but it's got the, the address on there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to send these people a, an edition of Lion News. And this one affects their county. And this one is uh, from June 9th, 2010, issue 4, page 1 of 2. Douglas County Attorney Candidate Chad Larson sent weapon into Todd County Jail, delivered in legal mail. All right, Chad Larson is the Pope County Assistant Attorney. And uh, you can see here's the letter from Chad, where it says that he sends a disc into the jail. Okay, that's considered contraband. Disc equals weapon equals contraband. All right. So here's the quote from Nemers, which is the best part of the whole thing. I would like to thank Assistant Pope County Attorney Chad Larson for sending me sending me the weapon. Todd County Sheriff Peter J. Mickelson for giving me the weapon, and Stevens County District Judge Gerald J. Seibel for covering up the existence of the weapon. These political horrors are a threat to your family's safety, aren't they? And, of course, here we have the statute for contraband. All right, so what you do is you fold this up and you put it into a little envelope. Here's one for David Kirshner, or Kirscher. Randy Newman, Gerald Ruda, Gary Kniesel, and Mark Blessing. Now, today is the 29th of October, which means it's a Friday. Now, the best time to send these are on Fridays, because then they'll get it on a Saturday. And usually, if you can't manage to do it on a, on a weekend, try to make sure they get it the day before a holiday because you want them to have time to reflect on the uh, local corruption that's going on there. See, if, if you send it during the week, you know, th they got all the other things that are, uh, you know, taking up their time. See, the weekend is when they have time to rest and relax, and they have more time to concentrate on, on your issues. So, those are a couple of tips. So, enjoy! <laughs> 